I know it's had nothing to do with the video. I just gotta hit a little you, you know, to, to wake me up a little bit. Wait, wait, we zoomed in? Okay, okay, okay. What's up guys, Mike from Slow Speed. Here with another video. Now today, I got something in the mail. It is a iCar Pro. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to code your BMW using this and Beamer code. Now normally what I would do is I would pull out my big giant laptop. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys in a second. Have my long OBD cord to use a program called ESIS, which you need like Windows laptop, like a whole bunch of PZ data files you need to go in and like freaking pretty much learn German to code these cars. And I've done that and I've been pretty successful with it. But um, there's another YouTuber on here by the name of Thick F30. I watch his video, I watch subscribe to him. He has a nice F30, it's silver like mine. So, you know, pretty much just gonna go like a quick overview and um, show you guys how to do like the first coding and like what things you necessarily want to code with this. So like some of the things that I feel like are super necessary and that should have came from factory. All right, so if you guys are not familiar with this by now, the OBD port is located under here. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna plug it into the OBD port. And then we're gonna just turn the car into the ignition cycle. Connect the seat belt, just that keeps the computers on. So we're gonna go ahead and bubble that up. I just always do this as a precaution. Just as, you know, if you're a little more, uh, you know, scared or whatever uh, than I am, then you can also run a battery tender, but uh, I found the need not to do that. <laughs> I've been doing this for years, literally. So we got the ignition running. We're going to... Beamer code, connect. We're back. So these are the ECUs that are adjustable for my car. You just go a little bit up and down. So let's go into a couple things that I might want to change. We're going to go into the FEM, aka front electronic module. Let's see if there's anything in here that I would like to change. Comfort with key fob, unfold mirrors with locking vehicle, active. Comfort, closing with key fob. Unf hey, what, why wouldn't that be active? I don't understand. So, I'm gonna get into the things that I coded and why I feel like it's important that I coded them. All the other stuff, I mean, there's a few things, set that right there, there's a few things on this car that I did not code, uh, there's tons of things if you decide you want to purchase this and look, check it out, you can, I'm just going to go over the things that I felt was important. First thing that I coded was the most important thing in my opinion, it's kind of worth, it's worth the 20 or 40 bucks that the whole package cost me, the mirrors and the windows sunroof also are controlled by the key okay the only thing I'm missing is the f32 power trunk mod which you where you can control the key by the trunk but you need to do a bit of a little bit of retrofitting stay tuned you were always able to roll the windows down from factory however you were not able to open the mirrors via the key from factory so when you unlock it the mirrors open I also coded these lights to flash three times, so the blinkers flash three times instead of two. Personal preference, it's not really important. The second thing on the list with this key, now when you lock it, the mirrors automatically close and the windows will go up. And the sunroof closes also. I definitely needed that feature. It saved me a hundred times when I had it coded on my last car. Uh, second thing, while we're on the outside of the car, you won't see this, or I'll try to put it in a clip for you guys, actually. You know, so normal braking would just be the outer, hard braking would be the inner. However, now, when you hard brake, it, the whole thing flashes at you. So it flashes three times per second, you could do five times per second, just to let the people behind you know, hey, listen, I'm clamping on them things, you better watch out. 
Now we're in the car. Most noticeable thing, as soon as you get in the car, you realize that I coded the and performance logo to go right there in the cluster. See? Now you can choose between the M4, M3, or whatever logo, even M4 GTS, and I will admit, I was a little tempted to get the M4 GTS uh, logo, but eh, I don't know, that's, I don't know, that's a little bit going too hard, so I did the only thing I could do, and performance, you know. I, you have the option to get it, but I just didn't want to, because I think it's a little cheesy. Next thing you will notice, if you can, let me see. Well, it did not turn on, but, oh, I don't know if you can hear that noise. That noise would be the BMW i that I coded. So it's like the i3s and the i8s, the sound that it makes. Uh, you can go with the Rolls Royce gong, the mini gong, the normal BMW gong, or the BMW i gong. I went with the BMW i gong, uh, but I had Rolls Royce for a bit on my previous car. Kind of gotten used to it. Now I'm ready for something new. I can swap it back if I like. Sports displays. Uh, they're orange. They normally come orange. I've turned them red. I'll start the car up so you can see. Uh, it's actually a noticeable difference that it's red. So you can, you can hear the, the eye gong. It just looks a little bit more badass red. Uh, I turned the LED brightness up on the headlights. So if you look out here, these are things that I just forgot, guys. Sorry about that. I turned the LED brightness up, so now that the headlights are on, the rings are actually on brighter. They're on at a 60% instead of the 8% that they came with uh, stock uh, factory. Next thing you're gonna see in this channel, things that you probably didn't know about your BMW 435. Uh, some things I just learned, some things uh, I've been new, even from previous BMW. So yeah, here we go. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Definitely dislike if you didn't like it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, like I said, shout out to Thick F30. Go look at his YouTube uh, channel. He's the one who really converted me from the old setup to this new setup. Uh, now, to be 100% honest with you, I kind of still like the old setup better just because I felt like I was a little more in control and I actually had to go into expert mode on this and kind of code some things that I knew that weren't on a list manually myself. Some things took, some things did not. So, here we go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.